Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for factory reset protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A7. That's an Android tablet made by Samsung. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen lock pin that was used, or if we tap on use my Google account instead, it pulls up the second screen telling us that the other option is to sign in with the Google account that was previously on the device. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us to assist them with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then after the purchase, obviously the buyer discovered the lock and they weren't going to have any of the previous users login info and the seller has usually long since disappeared in that case since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this model without having to have the previous user's login information. It's a process that we do directly to the device while it's plugged into a computer and the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So, as you guys can see very clearly, the device was on the Google lock screen, then I just powered it off and plugged it into our computer program here that goes ahead and takes care of the lock for us. Now that that step is done, once the tablet finishes restarting, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the initial setup steps without running into that Google lock page. So just hold on a second here while it runs through and does that. Okay, so we are all rebooted now, ready to go. And if the process was done correctly, like I said, we should be able to get all the way through the steps without seeing the Google lock page here. So we're gonna begin by hitting start. We have to agree to Samsung's terms and conditions. So we're gonna hit next. And it's gonna ask us about Wi-Fi, but we actually don't even need Wi-Fi. So we're just gonna turn that off and hit skip. We don't need to copy any apps and data, so we're going to skip that. We have to read and agree to all of the Google services. We don't need a screen lock, so we're going to skip that step also. We're not going to add a Samsung account, so we're going to skip that as well. And there we go, we should be all set now. So when we tap finish, we'll be able to see that we have the home screen loading up here. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on it. While we're here, I'm gonna jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So when we go in the settings under about device, or about tablet, this shows, we can indeed see here that we have a Galaxy Tab A7 Lite, 
And then that model number there, the SMT220, is the specific model number of this device that we're working with here. So if you have one of these Tab A7 lights and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to assist you with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.